Hi there everyone, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and thank you for joining me for another demonstration today. We're going to create a nice colourful background using some of our elements inks that we've got here along with our stencil brushes. We've got a couple of stamps here, we're going to be using our stag, one of our trees and we're just going to create a nice uh, magical scene. So let's get started. I've got my graphite here which I'm going to start and a stencil brush. Now I'm going to ink up the stencil brush and I'm just taking a little bit off first and then very gently just getting the feel of how much ink is on there. I'm going to start just bringing that colour onto the card. This is our multifarious card. I haven't cut it to any particular size. i put my lid on that one for now. We will be going back to it. In the meantime I've got the Reset Orange and I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Just bring in a touch of colour, build it up and just those two colours alone it can create quite a dramatic background. So don't be frightened of using dark colours. I love working with blacks and greys. So I need a mask now, a hill mask. Let's pick that one. And I'm going to go back to the graphite. And then I've got Bermuda. Just bring in a little bit of colour. Like so. And again, I'm going to just pop another hill mask down and we'll do the same thing again. So start with the graphite. And then the Bermuda. Okay, so let's pop the lids on those. And I'm going back to the russet orange. And there we go, there's our background. And how quick and easy was that to achieve? So I'm going to start stamping. I haven't finished using my colour, but I want to get the stamps down now. I'm going to ink up in the VersaFine Claire. This is the Nocturne. Now I'm only inking one part of the tree, because so I'm going to stamp off the edge. Just take your time, make sure that you've covered that area. And then we're going to pop that down around about there. And give that a good press. And you've got all that lovely, lovely detail in the tree. And now we've got our lovely little stag 
This is the small one. And we're going to pop him just under it here. Now I'm going back to the tree and again I'm just going to ink up part of it. Just want the branches. again just at the top there a few more and now we're going back to the graphite and we're going to bring in some depth down here at the bottom of the card Just by going around the edge with a darker colour, it pulls your eye into the centre more. It makes it quite a dramatic image. So I'm going to ink Shady Lane in one of our foliage stamps. Just to take a little bit of starkness away. And now our fairy charm. And I'm going to ink the stem in the black. And I'm going to ink the heart in Glamorous. Let's have a look. And we'll just do that hanging from the tree branch. There we go. Now I've got another little stamp here. One of my favourite ones. It's great for foliage, for filling in any gaps. And I'm just going to hang. Some foliage coming down. I think it just looks so pretty. Hanging down. Like so. Now we're going to finish off with the Posca pens, so I'm going to bring in a little bit of colour down at the bottom here. So we've got a white and a yellow. Let's just go with those first. Sometimes you just get to know if it needs a little bit more colour. You have to step away from it and have a look. And sometimes even if you go back to it the next day, 
you then know exactly what it needs. Keep going back to it. And let's just put a few stars in the sky. And there it is. A nice, easy, quick technique that you can use just using your ink pads and stencil brushes and just a couple of stamps. I hope it's inspired you to have a go yourselves guys. Thanks so much for joining me again. You take care and I'll see you real soon. Bye for now.